Aristotle says moral virtue is essential to a good life. What is moral virtue? Moral virtue consists of habits of good choice. Virtue aims at happiness as the end of life and is the habit of choosing the right means to it, choosing real goods and avoiding apparent goods. Make that more specific well, for us. Let me, take, let me take the most obvious virtue, temperance. Temperance consists in the habit, the settled, firm disposition of uh, forsaking, avoiding, giving up certain very seductive pleasures that tempt you here and now. More food, more drink, more play, more sleep, all things human beings tend to, in order to, in order to achieve remote and difficult goods that would be interfered with if you played too much, slept too much, drank too much, ate too much. Temperance is a habit of modifying your bodily desires, perfectly good desires. You should have a certain amount, but modifying them, moderating them for the sake of the total life. So to be virtuous, I have to be temperate yes, in you the do. choices before me. That's right. You have to be courageous and just. The three, the three cardinal virtues are temperance, fortitude of courage, and justice. What is courage? Well, courage is the, is the very opposite of temperance. Temperance is resisting seductive pleasures for the sake of a greater good. And courage is, is taking, willingly undergoing, suffering pains and hardships for the sake of a greater good. Give me an example. Well, the soldier on the battlefield, the, the, the most obvious example, but I, I prefer the example of a good student. The good student, stu studying is hard. Studying is very hard, it's painful. And the, the, the person who lacks courage shirks the hard work of study. But the good student has the virtue of courage of fortitude bears up under the pain of long hours of study. So he has courage. That's right. Without temperance and courage, one doesn't pursue one's studies well. What is justice? Oh, that's a, 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 a virtue in a totally different direction. Temperance and courage are self-regarding virtues. They are virtues that order my life with respect to my own happiness. Justice is the virtue which orders my life with respect to the good of everybody else in a society. In fact, the most difficult question raised is, I can see why I should be tempered and why I should be courageous, because if I'm not, I may not lead a good life myself. I may not achieve my own happiness. But why should I be just when justice is concerned with your good and the good of society? That's a hard question. What's the answer? You're making difficult thought easy. The answer is that justice, temperance, and courage are not three distinct virtues. They are all aspects of virtue. Virtue is one. Hence, you've got to say that a man cannot be a good man, a virtuous man in his own private life without at the same time being virtuous in his public life. And the reason for that is virtue aims at the end. If you're aiming at the right end, if you're aiming at the right end, which courage and temperance says you are doing, you can't aim at the wrong end but by injustice. There's only one end. You're either aiming at the right end, in which case you have all virtue, or you're aiming at the wrong end, which you have no virtue. The, that was the most difficult lesson for me to learn from Aristotle. I used to think, oh, well, I was temperate but not courageous, or I was courageous but not just. He had some virtues and some vices. Aristotle says, no, you either have all virtue or no virtue. That's why there are probably so few people who are virtuous. Doesn't the fact that we all fall so far short of what Aristotle says is a good or virtuous lot, doesn't that make him largely irrelevant? No, because, if I may, may, may now use the closing line of Spinoza's ethics, all things noble are as difficult as they are rare. 